assalamu alaikum in this video we will discuss frequency distribution earlier we have discussed statistic that in statistic we deal with the collection of data organization of data analysis of data and then interpretation of the data in tubular or graphic forms and a frequency distribution is a way of organizing data in statistics it shows the number of times each value or range of values occurs in a data set. Actually, the frequency distribution is a statistical method for summarizing the data. It orderly arranging data after collecting. Frequency distribution present the raw data nicely. When the data are grouped into classes of appropriate size, indicating the number of observations in each class, we get a frequency distribution. Frequency distribution of statistical data consists of a list of numbers related to a research among those numbers few may be repeated twice and more than twice maybe if you have a data later on in example you will have the idea that how the frequency or the observation in some classes repeated twice or more than twice the repeating numbers in a data set is termed as frequency that frequencies are listed in a table is known as frequency distribution or frequency table. Let us have a look at example. Here in this square, we are given the raw data where we are given few colors. Now what we need to do in order to present this raw data into the frequency distribution, we need to classify or categorize it into different categories. So here the categories are blue color, pink color, red, white and yellow color and in the second column we are given the frequency that how many time here appears this blue color so here you can see that we have one blue color here so let us collect the number of blue colors how many time appears in this raw data one two three four five six seven eight and nine so this means the frequency for the blue color is nine so hence we can say that observation in these classes can appear twice or more than twice now the pink color appears here in the raw data how many time that is six time the red color the frequency is five so what do you mean by frequency this category red appears five time in this raw data and the white color appears here only one time that is here and the yellow four times so you have presented this raw data nicely into this frequency distribution and one another thing you need to keep in your mind that you need to count this raw data and if you will count this raw data this will be 25 objects 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 this means whenever you will sum all these frequencies against these categories you will get in total the same number of objects 25 and let's say if you get here 24 and here the number of objects are 25 this means you did some mistake here this means you missed some of the frequency so make sure that the sum of these frequencies should be equal to the object here in the raw data. So the frequency distributions are useful for summarizing data sets. As here the data set is not too much large but sometimes we are given a large data sets and frequency distributions are useful for summarizing large data sets and identifying patterns or trends within the data. They provide a clear visual representation of how the data is distributed across different categories or ranges. In next video, we will discuss the types of frequency distribution. We will discuss the categorical frequency distribution, grouped frequency distribution, and ungrouped frequency distribution. Take care. See you then.